What's going on guys? I just got this Bren tuning flash tuner here in the mail and I'm pretty excited to get a new great running tune on this beautiful Aprilia RSV4. Alright, so before we get started with this tuning process, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory on this bike. Currently, um, in regards to performance modifications, all I have right now is a SC Project slip-on exhaust. It's a titanium. The factory headers are already titanium, so no need really to change those. It deletes the cat with this exhaust as well. Got a DNA air filter, and um, it has the factory Aprilia Race ECU tune on it currently. You can see down here at the bottom it says race. Um, it's running very, very rich. You can smell it and see. Um, it's got tons of soot and exhaust back here. It'd probably be hard to tell on camera. But I did also uh, run this guy at the dyno to see what it put down. So I'll go ahead and throw up a clip of that here real quick. sheet from that session i believe these uh bikes are rated about 185 crank horsepower if i'm not mistaken uh, i can see here at the max power run and put 157 down to the wheel um they did not get a torque rating on this because the guys are not able to find a tack signal without having to dismantle about half the bike so <laughs> sure it could be calculated but anyways Max horsepower is about 157, consistent across all three runs. The graph itself looks pretty good in the linear, as we would like to see. Uh, get down here to the air-fuel ratio. Um, at the very beginning of the run, at low speeds, it uh, looks fairly good, maybe a little bit rich. Um, and then once you get back into the throttle here, it's down very, very rich here. It's about um, an average of 12. And if I'm not mistaken, you want to be somewhere around 14.7, maybe a little bit richer for wide open throttle. It also has this very weird peak here once it gets down um, to about 110 miles per hour. This is in fourth gear, by the way. That leans out a little bit and then goes down extremely rich at the top end. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully with this Bren tuning flash, we can get this leaned up a little bit better ratio here and see if we can make some more power. Also, one thing to note about these bikes, while 157 horsepower to the rear wheel on 1,000 seems fairly low, uh, these bikes have been well known to put down pretty low numbers on paper. When it comes to reality, they're very capable and keep up with, if not outperform, other bikes in this class. Part of that may be due just to how well these bikes handle. It's very nimble in the corners once you get going. It feels almost like a 600. Anyways, I'm not too concerned with the specific number it put down. The more to uh, the relative gain we can possibly make using the same exact dyno and compare the two afterwards and see how much we can truly gain with this tune. Alrighty guys, so I'm inside now. I went ahead and unboxed everything. How it comes in here is obviously the flash tuner. Um, it comes with a cable from the flash tuner to your computer. You also have the cable from the tuner to your bike. So looks like this one also works for Ducatis. Should be the same plug. The three pin, I believe, and connected to power. Um, you also get a sticker, um, business card, this little instruction booklet, and a pack of Jelly Bellies that I already ate because I have no self control. But, anyways, that's what comes in the box here. Now, let's go ahead and get started on the process. All right, so the first step here is to go ahead and install the MyGenius client software on your computer. Um, I believe it is only for Windows computers. So let's magically turn this Mac into a Windows laptop. Bam, we're running Windows 10. Once you've followed the instructions and installed their software on your computer, you can go ahead and plug in the flasher. It's like powered up here. It's attempting to. Cool. 
All right, once it initializes, you want to go ahead and uh, click update. All right, go ahead and let this do its thing. All right, once your update is complete, you can go ahead and disconnect the flasher and head out to the bike. Next thing we need to do is download the factory tune off of your bike. Uh, it's very important, you want to have this connected to a trickle charger. Make sure your battery stays charged while you're taking the tune off of the ECU. You could potentially break the ECU if you lose power in the middle of reading or writing. So on the RSV4, you want to go underneath your rear seat here and you should find a three pin connector. It's going to be kind of hidden down here underneath this uh, connection here. It's going to be that guy right there. This will focus. Go ahead and pull that up. We'll have a little black cap on it. Go ahead and remove that. And on the Aprilia, you'll have to remove the main seat as well, so you have access to the battery to power the flash tuner. It's just uh, two Allen bolts right there in the back. Once you have that off, go ahead and connect the tuner to your bike. Three pin connector in the back. Red to positive, black to negative. You should see your tuner boot up here. And then go ahead and turn on the ignition to the bike. back here you want to go to work Aprilia and then you go down and find your model this is the RSV4 obviously and you want to check and find your version so mine is the R the first one here the double R is the newer generation. Go ahead and select that. And it is on a battery tender. We already have a dash on. It's okay. And it looks like it's communicating with the bike. Turn that off. Click OK. OK. Click reading. Let's double check and make sure. Turn the dash back on. Click OK. I believe is downloading the factory map right now. So go ahead and let us do its thing. Could take a few minutes. This is what your dash should look like while it's reading the old map off the ECU. As you can see, it's still in progress here. It's gonna take a while. All right, it's been a little over 20 minutes now. It's still reading. So you definitely wanna make sure you invest one of these trickle chargers. 20, 30 bucks could save you um, 300, 400 for your ECU. Still connected here. Wait till she finishes up. Yep, so switch off the dash. Click OK on the tuner. It says reading ECU completed. Alright, at this point, you can go ahead and disconnect the tuner from your bike, head back inside, and connect it to your computer. Once you're back connected to your computer, you're going to go ahead and select the Download from My Genius tab at the top. Go ahead and save it to a good location you can find. And once you do that, you're going to compose an email to sales at vrentuning.com. Include the map in that email. They'll reply back to you with a bunch of questions regarding your bike. 
Make sure you fill this out with as much detail as you possibly can so they can get the best tune as possible for you. Another tip as an option, you could, uh, on number 19 here, where it asks any other information that we should know, you could note that your bike is only used on the track or the drag strip, even if it's not, just to make sure they don't hold back on your tune. And once that's all done, they'll go ahead and send you your two new tunes here. Go ahead and download those. You can fire up the My Genius software. All right, once you have your device connected and ready, you can go ahead and select the Upload to My Genius tab. Click Next. And then you want to navigate to the new maps you just downloaded. Select one here, click Open. It's going to verify that file. Then you can actually add the second one at the same time. I'll show you here. Uh, you can click Add New File here again. Grab the second file. And then select Next and Confirm. And it's going to go ahead and load those onto your handheld. All right, procedure completed successfully. Go ahead and close this out, disconnect your device, and head back out to the bike. You want to go ahead and connect the tuner back the same way you did before. And then go ahead and select work. Go to writing. And then you can select your tune here. I'll have a couple tunes. I'll select whichever one you want to go with. I'm going to go pump gas. And it's again ask you to connect your bike to a stabilized battery. And then go ahead and switch on the dash. Press OK. And switch off the dash. on the dash and it's going to go ahead and start programming your new tune this could take up to another 20 minutes so just be patient depending on your motorcycle you may get some sort of error message popping up for check engine lights uh, it's nothing to be worried about uh, it should be Completely clear and good to go once the tune is loaded. All right, looks like she's all finished up. Time to turn the dash off. Turn the dash back on. back off again and back on again and back off again Looks like she's finally finished up. Go ahead and let it analyze this. All right. Also with the RSV4, once you're finished flashing on your new tune, you need to do the throttle relearn process. To do this, you want to select work, not a tool, find throttle position reset, Make sure your vehicle is connected to the battery tender. Turn back on the dash. And then click OK. Switch off the dash.
switch back on the dash. And turn it back off. And back on so many times. Here the servo motor is moving right there. Turn it back off. And turn it back on. And back off. Task successfully completed. All right, that's all there is to flashing the Aprilia RSV4. Next step is to go ahead and disconnect everything, start her up and make sure she's running good. All right, she's all put back together. Now it's time for the moment of truth. If you ever want to switch maps or go back to the original, the process is pretty straightforward. Let's show you here real quick. Go and select work, select writing, select modified if you want to add one of your new tuned uh, flashes on here, or original if you want to go back to the tune that you pulled off the bike at the starting of this video. Just took her out for a quick ride. I don't know if it's all in my head, but it definitely feels a lot smoother overall. It feels like it has more, a little bit more power. Mostly where I noticed it at is down lower in the RPM. Hoping to get this back out to the dyno here. Um, hopefully pretty soon this weekend or maybe the next. I'll probably make that a separate video. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss out on the results. I'm pretty excited to see what comes up and then compare it to the old map. Once that video's up, I'll go ahead and throw a link in the description of this one. And thank you for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Drop it. It's okay to say that a weak spot It's Hoodie Allen have to be on top What up, Arena? You know how we do uh, oh. They telling me to take the safe route This is the detour Hoodie, baby, you ain't seen a